What's up guys, Mark from SpotsMusic.com here. Just wanted to talk to you today about the Boss CS3 compression sustainer pedal. If you aren't familiar with what a compressor does, gonna explain that to ya. Uh, also go through the different levels of adjustment that you can make on this particular pedal. And then gonna play an electric guitar and an acoustic guitar through it so you can hear the differences. So let's go. What is a compressor? So basically if you think of your volume coming out of your guitar as a low volume and the highest volume that you're going to play, um, whether that be from intensity, how hard you're playing, volume knob placement on the electric guitar, um, there's going to be a, a low or a quiet sound and then there's going to be really loud. What a compressor is going to do is take both of those, your quietest and your loudest signal and bring those closer together so you have ultimately more control over uh, the sound that you're putting out, but also more even. Um, I use these on my acoustic guitar pedal board 100% of the time, especially with looping. Uh, that just evens out the volume level differences. Um, and then you can use like a boost pedal on the other side of it when you kick into a solo. Uh, but that's, that's for another conversation. Um, this guy has four different uh, knobs on it, potentiometers to allow you to adjust. Level is just the overall volume level. Uh, the tone gives you a low or high like a typical tone knob. Attack is your minimum or max. The attack is how quickly the, the pedal starts working for you. And sustain, that's going to be the amount of compression. Uh, typically a regular compressor, the way that it's gonna work is it'll have a threshold set. So when you hit that threshold with volume, the compressor kicks in and starts working. And then there's a ratio that, uh, that you would typically have um, that's going to give you how much compression. So two to one, four to one however much compression that you want but this guy just has the attack and sustain on it um, so that's it that's all that a compressor does that's how it works now any compressor I've owned four different pedal compressors throughout my life um, the highest end the most expensive compressors that you can buy are very well known because uh, they don't color the sound trying to get a natural sound through a compressor is important um, guitar pedals are all going to add a little bit of color guitar pedal compressors are going to add a little bit of color to your sound so it might change the tonality slightly um, and I've just always come back to the CS3 because I actually prefer the way that it sounds uh, when I have it engaged, what it does to my tone. So I'm gonna play an electric guitar through it just straight clean. Um, I'm gonna be using the Boss WL50 wireless unit uh, from the guitar to the, uh, to the compressor. The compressor will be the only pedal engaged recorded directly into Pro Tools. So here's what it sounds like. All right, got the old Ibanez RGA T62 here. Marzio pickups. Um, but yeah, just gonna play kind of the same thing. Compressor is currently off. Uh, the level is all the way up so that the levels were kind of leaned out with when I'm playing at regular volume. They're, the levels are pretty close, um, but tone, attack, and sustain are all straight up and down. So gonna play some a little bit quiet, a little bit loud, and then uh, just try to do the same things. Now compressor on. so you can hear the difference, but...
Next up, acoustic guitar. So, I have no idea why that was capo there, but I've been as AWC31. Tune it up real quick. So first off, without compressor. Yeah, so that's it. That's the Bossy S3 compressor. Uh, again, I have it on all the time on my pedal board when I'm playing this exact guitar through the exact same pedal board. I just have a loop station on at the end of it. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. Um, Thursdays are gear review days or we, where we dive into something just like that pedal. So I'm uh, gonna continue putting YouTube videos out. Hope you guys have an awesome time. Hit me in the comments if there's a specific pedal that you'd like uh, me to go over for you or if you have any questions whatsoever. And I'll get back to you. Peace.